up guys welcome to another episode of the kiss capades podcast today i have two special guests with me and i'll just let them introduce themselves before we start rolling as you can see today the setup is like you know hard to custom make this for two so it, it better be worth it guys <laughs> 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 Fair so just yeah. let, let's start with you just introduce yourself yeah. and yeah just introduce yourself and then i'll take it from there after he introduces himself as well Okay. So uh, are you, bro? Uh, yeah. I'm Malesi. Yeah. Uh, Malesi mixes on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm a bartender. Yeah, I'm not a mixologist. I'm a bartender. Okay. I like cocktails and anything that goes with cocktails is my vibe. Okay. Yeah. Proper. Yeah. Kevin here. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Hello. I'm also not a mixologist. I'm an intoxicologist. First of all, you're off the frame, bro. Are we just squeezing. Oh, oh sorry. Let's squeeze you. Squeezing. In. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Intoxicologist. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, Wait, you are a intoxicologist. Okay, intoxicologist. what's that? All your intoxication needs. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's Just what uh, we do. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin, Instagram, Kevin AD. Okay. Yes. yes. So we together, mm-hmm. we the bar, the bar stage. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. So I mean, I've seen you guys making a lot of noise online, and in a very creative way. Mm-hmm. As we said, you know, this space is there to be consumed by everybody, mm-hmm. and there's always like a disconnect between like uh, the slightly older guys and the younger guys mm-hmm. and I can clearly see how your visibility has made a very big difference thank you so much you guys are making like crazy crazy moves thank yeah. you yeah. and as so much as even just for making noise yeah we also trying to put the mic closer to sorry yeah <laughs> we're also trying to get people <laughs> yeah to understand what it is we're doing and yeah create yeah. Like awareness for cocktails and cocktail culture and yeah decent drinks mm. that's what we're trying to do that's what the noise is for as well as just building the brand yeah it's also to just like people will see something interesting and be like oh what's this mm. and then click to find out and so on proper so now yeah. i just want to know how like each of you like just started off Okay. And even before we get to that, yeah. like, what did you want to do when you were growing up? <laughs> Let's start with that. Okay, growing up, uh, I've always wanted to be a pilot, actually. Wow. I uh-huh. really love flying. Uh-huh. Uh, and after high school, actually, I went to try it a bit for like three months. Uh-huh. Uh, things didn't go well. <laughs> what? Uh, <yeah>. what? <laughs> you crash up? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. La- that's not a good joke. I don't <laughs> want to say <laughs> crash up. Play. It's not a good joke. Uh, what happened? I didn't have enough funds to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it just happened like... Uh, I started off actually in art cafe, mm-hmm. yeah, as a waiter. Wow. Yeah, that mm-hmm. was 20, 2010, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Did they treat you well? Yeah, nice, nice, nice welcoming. No, you can, you can just say. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, art cafe is the best place to start as a, yeah. if you're in yeah. this business. Yeah. 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 yeah, there's a lot to learn actually. Yeah, they have very yeah. good nice. standards in terms of yeah. trainings and so on. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what, uh, what did you want to grow up and like, you know, how did you end up like uh, um, getting people high? Initially, <laughs> <laughs> I thought I wanted to, do, to be something to do with biology, maybe marine biology or something like that. Uh-huh. Wow. And then, I after didn't know about school, this. <laughs> Say he's your friend. <laughs> <laughs> and then after high school, uh, yeah. I was on a gap year. Uh-huh. And um, I got an opportunity to work at a bar. Yeah. So I also started out as a waiter. Uh, speaking to the mic. I also started off as a waiter. <laughs> yeah. And um, uh, where? At Kipasa. Ah, nice. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I tried bartending a little bit and I fell in love. Yeah. Uh, at the same location? Yes, at Kepasa. And oh. then mm-hmm. I grew from there, but then I wasn't able to continue bartending per se because yeah. I was moved into management. Mm. And I've been in that role pretty much ever since until we started Bar Sage. Mm. But I've always had the love for bartending and the craft. Yeah. And I've always been very driven with um, creating new flavor profiles, playing with ingredients, that kind of stuff. That's like my 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 excitement yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. i really mm. enjoy it yeah okay like let, let's just say somebody who's watching you guys like on instagram mm-hmm. and they're always constantly like just admiring what you guys do mm-hmm. um what are some of the hurdles that you guys like you know just went through before you found like your lane because like you said where you started off like as a as a waiter, as a waiter yeah, yeah. But what are some of the hurdles you faced before, like you just found your lane, like, and then you decided, like, you know what, this is what works for me, because it shows, like, even from your videos and pictures, that you guys are actually happy at that space where you're in. Actually, I'll, I'll say it's the the older guys who have been working in the bar, bar industry. Yeah. Uh, it's 
very hard for them to welcome you actually if you're a new guy it's uh. any industry it happens like that yeah and that's that's i'll say that's the biggest biggest challenge that i face personally uh-huh. and uh knowing the staffs you know like for me uh i grew up in a christian family like mm-hmm. <laughs> the first time i went to about was like uh, i think 21 years old <laughs> wow yeah uh, uh-huh. it was a brew bistro okay mm. at cafe you know at cafe bars are not that big by that mm. by, by 22 mm. by 2010 there was just yeah. small small bars coffee yeah. coffee shops yeah but the moment i saw a real bar it was a brew bistro yeah mm-hmm. i still remember that day i went and i was like wow mm-hmm. i saw the bartenders they were having fun behind the bar I said this is what I want to do. Yeah. Uh, the next time I came, the next day I came, I tried, I interviewed. Mm-hmm. They took me as a bar back. Then mm-hmm. from there, it's been inter- a story for me. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. About I think you. <coughs> some of the setbacks have been, yeah. I don't know, the hours, uh-huh. the time at which we, everything happens in this industry. Yeah. It's always after dark. We're going to speak yeah. to the mic. Yes, I am. I'm eh? so sorry. <laughs> Do you need to super glue you? Yeah, next to the mic. <laughs> um, okay. Yes. Yeah. So, just yeah. be close to me and speak to the mic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can we all hear me? Yeah, we're yeah. good. We're okay, good. cool. Yeah. So, I think yeah, because you don't have Okay, so like if you're working, mm-hmm. uh, especially in this industry, you have very little like you time yep. because I mean, if you're working the night shifts, you're working from like 3 or 5 Mm. till closing that could be 2 a.m. 1 a.m. whatever you get home you sleep yeah. do the same thing again mm-hmm. so it doesn't leave a lot of time for you to build on other things so I think once I stopped being full-time somewhere we got a lot more opportunity to be able to actually explore how far this can go yeah and like really build on it and actually even meeting your family and friends it's very yeah. hard yeah. Yeah, yeah and actually having fun like you know it's exactly. supposed to be fun I yeah. think now for a lot of young people it's like enjoying what you do yeah we love what we do yeah yeah, yeah. We, yeah. even those hours you can work even for 12 hours times flies yeah like, times flies so like as fun. long as you're morning. having yeah, fun we're having yeah. fun being the buyer so do you think uh what do you think about those people who because you guys are doing it independently right yeah, yeah. like you have a manager and everything yeah, that's yeah. that's very new in kenya first of all <laughs> that's very new in kenya <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah let's talk about the doors and opportunities that maybe this you know work of life has just opened for you guys okay i'll go first yeah yeah um <laughs> this is crazy uh-huh. but ending made me catch my first plane you see that's the thing yeah game. like uh last year last year last year i went to new orleans uh-huh. states and I, I got an opportunity also go to go to atlanta and also this year january I went to uh, san antonio texas all because of bartending. You see I this? Went, <laughs> I yeah. went, uh, and then, uh, th- was it April? I think so. Yeah, mm-hmm. I went to Cuba also because of bartending. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's something like amazing. Your, pa- yeah. your passport is happy yeah, than yeah, it yeah. was <laughs> before. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you see, that's the thing. Like, a lot of people don't understand. Like, even now, mm. on Instagram, a lot of people are lost because, let's say when they see Malaysi, like you know hopping from one state to another they're like ah man i want to do this Mm. now they would start emulating him instead of like finding their own Own path path. so that they can also like open these doors that opportunities that are meant for them exactly you can actually do anything this is a perfect example you can do anything with your life and you can actually fly with passion like you said like fast flight yeah yeah, yeah. and before that did you see yourself like taking a flight never ever (laughs) no i was supposed to i was supposed to be flying yeah yeah. Yeah. oh yeah 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 yeah. like yeah like but you see how that actually (laughs) like turns out yeah instead of like even though that was like something you're seeing like as a kid Mm. And now you've just started traveling and networking and also guessing yeah, yeah, with people yeah. and everything. Yeah. Okay, how about you? you remember the question? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Something about what doors. Do, no, what right. doors yeah. and opportunities has like, you know, just this career path opened for you? Um, honestly, I think the biggest one mm-hmm. is just to be able to do something that I'm very passionate about. Yeah. I think that's one of the biggest doors because yeah. I couldn't see myself doing anything else. Yeah, and I'm just very lucky that I get to do what I do. Yeah, and also I mean, and doing it very good, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Training, yeah. Training yeah. First, first of, are you Kenyan? First of all, Colombian. <laughs> uh, you just uh, Kenya in the middle because I this Kenyan, Kenyan, Kenya? uh, Canadian, part Canadian. Yeah, and part Irish. Yeah. But you've been raised, uh, raised, born and raised. Oh, okay, so yes. Yes. so, so what? So he's Kenyan. Oh, so he's Kenyan. Yeah. yeah. So, so what? Are, are, are any other opportunities that you think maybe they haven't? 
because you i haven't heard you like you know talk about like your passport going crazy like malaysi oh so my passport yeah. is going to start going crazy like, yeah you see, yeah the thing he went for to new orleans yeah, yeah. it's uh it's this big uh festival that happens called tales of a cocktail yeah and it happens in new orleans once a year so i mean mm-hmm. this is twenty thousand people from the drinks industry all over the world wow. meeting in one such place. a big deal mm-hmm. so what such happens a big deal, yeah. yeah like for him to go he had to apply yeah so i did the same thing i applied and i think when he went he was the one of two africans that wow. were accepted yeah so now actually, I actually I was the only african Afri- Afri- guy, guy from africa yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. so now yeah. same thing for me so i applied and yeah. i'm going i should be going on friday next week over over over, over 2000 applicants all over the world and yeah. only take 40 people yeah. oh wow yeah, yeah you can so it imagine was, it was amazing that's, that's that crazy happened. so yeah. what what are like just some of the qualifications for you to like get into such such a thing because i want people who are listening and yeah. watching to just understand like you know it's all about patience because like mm. i'm sure you guys have been doing this for a while yeah yeah, yeah and yeah. it all comes with patience yeah, like he said knows. like you went there and then now he's waiting for his turn yeah, which yeah. is like in a few days yeah, yeah. but you know people just require patience yeah. in general yeah patience number one and then also you yeah. have to be doing something you have to be going somewhere yeah you can't just be th- this this trip could not be the pinnacle of whatever you're planning yeah because they'll ask you like what are your plans for the next year mm. who are you what is your influence in the industry what kind of what is the most remarkable experiences you've had yeah at certain bars restaurants and so on so you just have to show them a bit of your character yeah. mm-hmm. show them why they have to pick you why mm. you need to be the one to go mm. and show them that you really love this whole uh, shebang yeah. okay so um, talking of like um just things that led you in that path who like are uh, like some of your role models people that maybe you follow even if it's online mm-hmm. or local people I don't know if we have local people who inspire yes, people yes, anymore yes, but yes, if they're yes, there yes, I mean yeah, they're hey yeah. please mention them Uh, okay, my bar idol is this guy called Jian Chan. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's the, he was the Bacardi winner for I think 2018 Bacardi Legacy winner. Yeah, uh, that's internationally, but locally I look up to this. Uh, actually, three guys. Okay. Uh, the first, uh, the first guy is called Varun. Mm-hmm. Big guy Varun. Where where does he work? Or uh, is he's he? the like the general manager for Alchemist. Nice. Okay. Uh, it's like my I could say my daddy for bartending. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's taking my hand, show me places. You just mm. said that like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hold that against yeah, the bird. It's going to kill me. <laughs> 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 But big up Varun. Yeah, yeah. And uh, um uh-huh. Varun actually I want to thank Varun because he's the one who's been helping me out all the time, teaching mm. me the new stuff, telling me this is what you should do. Mm. And I uh, I Samia, there's a girl called Samia, she's Joan. Joan, uh, Joan Samia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's the uh, Bacardi brand ambassador mm. uh, and uh, she's one of my people I look up to actually. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. But that, those are three or two? Two. two. You said three. three. Yeah, hey, there's this guy, let me tell yeah. you about this guy. <laughs> 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 Nairobi bar school, yeah? Yeah, yeah? There's this old guy, uh-huh. his name is Jinx. Mm-hmm. That guy is taking the bar to the next level because he's the one who's teaching the young guys yeah i've also passed through his sons actually i could say that yeah uh it's helped so many people like mm. he's the guy that can always call and ask uh, yo yo what how can i do this have mm. this cocktail what yeah. can work for me yeah it's always open and it's always teaching guys always like you should meet that guy is so cool man mm. yeah i might bring him to the podcast yeah. <laughs> I mean, just link me up he's link a legend he's a up. legend link complete legend he's been working i think for like 25 20 years in the bar industry. Yeah, so so he's he seen it all. From somebody like that yeah. to just be ready and just share okay. his knowledge. Yeah. Cuz it's it's, it's very also much. very just it's it's proper cuz like it's very rare as well like you know the Kenyan a lot of industries like I was saying like there's that disconnect. So when yeah. you find people who are open to sharing their knowledge yeah. that's actually like a plus. So how about you? Well, role some of the people that you know, don't, don't role models. Me. Don't mention me. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. <laughs> no, but you do inspire. Me. Sometimes. sometimes. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. no, but I think somebody critical would have to be Kayuki Muki. Mm-hmm. Um because the especially when I was just starting. Yeah. Um I would have long chats about him and I really was so eager to learn more about whiskeys, more about gins, yeah. more about alcohol and the industry in general mm-hmm. and he would always take the time out to have a discussion with me have a chat answer my questions mm. and he was always very very helpful and mm-hmm. he, he i saw him 
doing it, making it, and I was like, this is actually something that's possible. Yeah. So that was one of them. The other one is Samia, Joanne. Mm-hmm. Uh, she Big up taught Joanne, me <laughs> quite a bit because I attended uh, something called Bacardi Varsity. Yeah. And she was a brilliant, amazing teacher. Mm-hmm. So helpful, so knowledgeable. And yeah, I'm just thankful that I've, I've had the chance to meet these amazing people. Mm. And yeah. thankful for the influence they've given me. Wow. Yeah. So like on me. Yeah. For, for you guys, just as the passage, like what's just the plan for, you know, like what's your, what's your projection? What do you guys want to achieve as a team? Because, you know, I've just had rumor has it that, you know, we've just added one more person yeah. to, yeah. you know. Queen. to this A team to yeah. this A team eh? yeah. <laughs> no you have Kenobi. a queen yeah, yeah. yeah. White Kenobi. <laughs> that was, yeah. Yes. I mean I don't think there's is there any other group that's working independently like just of you know mixologist and um, mm. I'm sure I'm sure there is but not but I know, style I know maybe uh, just with that swag yeah, and uh, and shot. you know like with the Instagram presence, yeah. online presence. Is Baraka, there any Baraka, Baraka events? Yeah. Baraka Israel. Yeah. Those okay. guys are doing very nice who, stuff. Yeah, who yeah, are yeah. those people you're talking about? Baraka Israel? Yeah. These yeah. two brothers who. The guys who. Uh, wine Week. Yeah. Who's. These guys who. Who's that? Like the guys who do the Israeli Samba, wine. Samba. <laughs> who's that? <laughs> Noam Or. In Kenya? Adi Or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, in Kenya. <laughs> uh, shout outs to <laughs> Noam. Noam is my friend, you know. Noam. Shout outs to Noam. Yeah, so like, yeah, Noam is hitting the cocktail scene pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some mad parties, yeah. proper stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, it's very exciting. Yeah. So, so it's yeah, good what to see the culture mm-hmm. growing. It's mm-hmm. very yeah. awesome. So, do you guys plan on starting doing like your own, like, you know, events independently? Because what I've seen online, it's, you know, you get those. Um, or, what, or let me just ask the question though. Yeah. What kind of service do you provide as just the passage? We call it for weddings, house parties. Like um, what, what's what's your what major? What what's our major? What's is, your thing? Um, we do all of that. We even consult to bars and restaurants and so on. Yeah. Yeah. But we're more for a. We're all about the experience. Yeah. Yeah. So we want a crowd to which we can provide the same experience yeah. all around. Okay. What it's not mean? that we just want to send out drinks, send out yeah. drinks, send out drinks. Mm-hmm. We want you to come have a chat with us. Let's talk about it. Let's mm. see yeah. if we can cater to you. Yeah. And like we even did this thing where we didn't have a menu. Yeah. So people would just come up and tell us the flavor profiles they like, the kind of fruits they like, yeah. the kind of alcohols they normally drink, yeah. and we'll try and show them something new, new with the yeah, stuff yeah. that they're used to, yeah. and just surprise them with something like off the spot. Oh, trust me. Yeah. I have yeah. something planned for you guys today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, trust me. Okay. Trust me. Okay. Awesome. We'll put that to a test if that's what you <laughs> so, do. So, yeah. so <laughs> what, Kevin, what Kevin is saying is yeah. more of the experience, yeah? Yeah. It's not like more of dispensing drinks, like you know, most of the bars like they do it's something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, yeah, yeah. go, go, yeah, yeah. go. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Ask so. you more like, why are we doing this actually? Mm. Why are you putting oranges right now? Why yeah. are we adding some bitters? You understand, like to make I, you understand. I think the for thing like everything like, that we design, yeah. there's always a reason yeah. to yeah. why we do what we do. Why we're using a certain rum? Why we're using a certain juice mm. from mm. a certain brand? Why mm-hmm. we're using fruits from a certain place? Yeah, there's always a, there's always like something that plays in with something else. I'm just saying, have you tried things like, let's say, I'm just thinking since you've talked like that, you the way you've, you're expressing like kind of what, of what you do, Yeah. Uh, have you thought of like maybe end of year parties in these offices that are always looking for something different and yeah. unique, you can yeah. even just go in their offices and do something crazy with them? Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, definitely. I mean, so far we've done, we've done weddings, we've done corporates, we've done yeah. house parties, we've done birthdays. Um, yeah, and then yeah. we even have um, so we have like some things happening like yeah. once a week, maybe at Bow Box. So yeah. every Sunday at Bow Box, there's uh, craft cocktails. Yeah. So each month, every Sunday. Spirit, yeah, every Sunday. Yeah. Okay. From three to yeah. seven. Mm-hmm. So every month the spirit changes. So we've just finished with gin. Now we're moving on to whiskey cocktails. Mm. And then also the master classes from which we met. Oh wow. At K1. Yeah, yeah. Th- that was really that yeah. was a really nice experience. So yeah, we have we I'd do take any of my girlfriends there anytime. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> girlfriends, yeah. <laughs> yeah plural. Hey, you said it, bro. <laughs> yeah, but so uh, where yeah. where do you think uh, just yeah, in do. individually, mm. where do you have your most fun when doing it? Do you think like at the bar or at the corporate setting? Where is your favorite place to actually just do your thing? Anywhere for me, anywhere. Because I know there are those places where now you get like super drunk people who are stubborn and you know you can't really mm. like yeah. do your, your thing, thing in peace. The way you're saying, yeah, like you know, exactly. it's not just about and you really don't want to just to dispense the drinks. Yeah. yeah what's the best place and what's the worst place to to actually? 
I think from your personal experience, where have you had like your bad experience? I think and the best it? place is uh, yeah. Weddings, corporates. Yeah. Actually, let me say the weddings. beginning of weddings. <laughs> Look at the Malaysia is like three weddings. Corporates and then also the bars. Uh -huh. like, those are the best. Uh -huh. The worst though, at yeah. the end of weddings and the yeah. end of house parties, because mm. by the time we're done, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, it's havoc. Chaotic, it's, man. It's chaos. Yeah. Like you're leaving it with your drinks like yeah. this. Like, no, please don't throw <laughs> don't that. <go>. <laughs> please. <laughs> no, like, uh, yeah. I don't know what it is. People, yeah. Yeah. so there's like, no, it doesn't happen often, but some people just do like a flip mode when they're drunk. Yeah, yeah of course. So, like, some guy you're chatting to him, he's a very cool guy and everything. Yeah. After the fifth, sixth drink, oh, yeah. he comes and he's like now starting to like just chucking glasses on the floor. Oh, and yeah. You're like, bro, <laughs> what's happened? We were so cool. It was all yeah. so calm. <laughs> what like, happened? Dude, relax. Yeah. yeah. So, now, what, what, what's your best and worst experiences for working? Where do you enjoy more and where do you have like just, you know, I really don't want to deal with this, but, you know, I, I need that check. So, uh, if you've ever seen me bartending, I'm always yeah. that guy with the fun. Yeah, you're yeah. always happy by the yeah, end, like, always starting yeah, up yeah, everyone. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. And like some people. Yeah. No, no, so yeah. boring. So <laughs> boring. <laughs> Just talking about flavors. Shut up. <laughs> so yeah. uh, that, that was my best moment. My best moments when I'm having a good crowd, good people around me. I'll say mm. I'll say the people. Mm. The people are the really what matters to me most, mm. even than the the ones who can give me a good moment or a bad moment, mm. yeah. Cause mm -hmm. me, it's always a good time behind the bar. Mm. There's no low moments, low moments for me at the bar. Mm. That's always, interesting. Always. Yeah. Okay. So how about yeah. things like just um, family? What does your family like? You know, do they support what you do? Cause like you've <laughs> said, <laughs> look at <laughs> look at his expression. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, ooh. Uh, okay. Do they do they support? Or do they at least understand? Because, you know, when you're starting off, yeah. most parents are always like, hey, man, because if they don't know how this works, they're yeah. always worried and yeah. they're like, you know. So, yeah. yeah. But after a while, some, like, just adjust to it. But what what, what are your friends and you family first. like? Or should I go first? You go first. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, so, for mine, yeah. I think they're pretty okay with it. Because, I mean, I started working in a bar when I was 17. Mm -hmm. So, like... 17? And yeah. drinking? Yeah. Earlier. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> But wow. I mean, they've been no, I, they've been I wouldn't blame you, first yeah. of all. You yeah. know who we should blame? Who? Your parents, of course. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 of course, yeah. if you started hey, serving him alcohol mom, like at yeah. a young age, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm just no, but saying, <laughs> but what they sub yeah. I know, Very but I'm supportive. just saying, are Very they supportive, supportive of even till now and even when I've started, yeah. when stuff has not gone the way it's supposed to go, when I've been up and about, up in the air, like they've always yeah. kept me with my head on, they've even advised me on what I should be doing, how we should be planning this company, how we should be moving along for things. So I, I'm just yeah. very thankful for them. Nice. Yeah, they've been very good. The whole family, not just my mom and dad, but mm. like the whole family has just been very supportive. Nice. Yeah. How about you? So as I said, <laughs> <laughs> now to the other side of the spectrum. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, my parents are uh, Christians. Yeah? yeah. Like proper Christians. So, yeah. Uh, Define proper. When, <laughs> no, <I'm joking>. Carry <laughs> when, <laughs> when I when I when I was doing bartending, it's actually very secretive. Yeah. Yeah. So I was working behind the bar, but I, they only knew I was working in a hotel. Like they didn't know I was working. I was dealing with yeah, alcohol. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. they knew uh, the moment I did world class. Mm -hmm. This company, you know about world class? Yeah. Yeah. So the moment I, I was part of the uh, the qualifying six, which mm -hmm. year, I think I don't remember the year. Mm -hmm. When he had dreadlocks. Yeah. When I was he had cool. dreads. Yeah, I was oh, cool. Oh, wow. I was super like, hot. What? Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's when I first met you. <laughs> okay. I had to cut them off, yeah. But they're coming back. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. So uh, they knew that day. They were like, what is this? What are you doing? When I <laughs> so it's them. now it's dreadlocks. Yeah. And then now now you bring this again. Yeah. 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 So by the, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, now they support when they saw me like, it's actually something that's bringing food to the table. Yeah. Paying yeah. bills, you understand? Yeah. So they are supportive right now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's good. That's nice. That's nice. I think my family was just excited. Now they have somebody to sort out the alcohol needs. Oh wow! Because like now birthday parties, this Christmas. What? What? Are, what are you making us? Yeah, you, and that's your cocktail <laughs> kit. Come on. <laughs> yeah. So and that's proper. what I wanted to say. Like you know, there's some benefits that come not to you, yeah. but your friends. Oh yeah. Because if they see you or they spot you somewhere in a pub or yeah. you know party, yeah, they know, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good for this. Sorted. <laughs> Yeah. Interesting. No, yeah. people. People uh -huh. now. I think it's gone to a point. People see me when I'm like out, mm -hmm. and they just walk the other way, because oh. they know 
yeah. they it's approach. This guy, yeah, yeah. this it's, guy is something else. It's, um, it might get hectic. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> it always get hectic. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. I remember. I remember the other time you were telling me, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's just like, go. already, hi. <laughs> and he's saying, like, yo, let's go to the next, uh, wha- the wha- next what were you suggesting? Was it Alchemist? Alchemist, yeah, yeah. And I was yeah. just like, hell no. It was no. a Friday, bro. I need to shoot the next day an episode like <laughs> this one. And then imagine <laughs> I'm smashed till like four in the morning. Yeah. Okay, wow. so let's jump into an- another different segment with just a different set of questions. Okay. okay. And I'm hoping you guys are ready for that as well. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. You're good? Yeah. You're sure. Why sure? did you give us that look? <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm like... <laughs> Oh, before we just even go back to that mm. serious part I was telling you about, um, what what's, what are some of like just your crazy bar stories, if you have any? Because, you know, this is alcohol, man. I'm sure you meet like so many different yeah. characters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> different characters infused with alcohol. <laughs> oh, yeah. They are so crazy, man. Don't, some of them I can't talk them much. Either. Yeah, we really can't. No. Some of them are <laughs> on my pod, <laughs> on, at on my podcast, you can. Uh, what's the craziest? Oh, I think there's one time. So I, I used to work at Jay's at a point. Yeah. So there's uh, there's a guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think he knows himself. Um, <laughs> who? What's his Instagram? Uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> <I know. laughs> so he's a very serious guy. Yeah. But then a little bit of alcohol, and um, so was it a Wednesday? I think yeah. it was a Wednesday. Yeah. And we're trying to close up the bar and everything. So the guy decides, let yeah. me just jump on the bar. This guy's on the bar. Yeah. And then he decides he's going to stand up yeah. on the bar. And this guy is like, like properly plastered. So mm. he's like swaying and everything. And everybody's like, hey. hey. So then he sees me and we're friends. Yeah. So the guy just jumps on me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many people jump on me? <laughs> it's actually a thing. I could just be walking around and then somebody sees me like, ah. ah <laughs> It's incredible. Yeah, so that was the first guy who's ever done it. And now you've seen, you've said it on the podcast. Yeah, now people know. know what to do. Yeah, and you see, just <laughs> leg it. Yeah, jump. I'll catch. Trust. <laughs> nice. It's even become a game with some. Yeah. Of me t- trying to get me that when I when I'm not paying attention. Yeah. To see if I'll react oh, in wow. time. Oh, wow. Otherwise, it'll just <laughs> like be like a tackle. Like, yeah, 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 just like. Ah. <laughs> so that's oh. one of the crazier bits. Yeah. Okay. How about you, Malaysia? I know that's not the craziest, but let's no, go yeah, with that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm trying to, to filter them out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just pick the safe ones that you want to talk about, you know. Uh, what I will say before wow. you say something is that yeah. people are freaky. Yeah, people yeah. are freaky. People be freaky. Yeah. 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 I can only imagine. Oh, yeah. I can only imagine. <laughs> like, why? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think this will work here. Uh-huh. Uh, so, it was a... Uh, I was then working with Bob Bristol, yeah? Uh-huh. Uh, the one in rooftop. Gong- uh, yeah. The one in rooftop, uh, Westlands, yeah? Yeah. So, these ladies uh, come. It was one of... Uh, there were four of them. One of them was having a bad day. Uh-huh. So happy hour time, you know, people were Kenyans with happy hour, like, yeah, bring, 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 bring. Yeah, yeah. So, mm-hmm. happy hour is over. This lady is saying, ah, man, your cocktail does, don't have any alcohol in there. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. You know, in the bar, uh. she asked the bar this day, like, in the bar, we had an overage of rum. Yep. Yeah, so you have a lot of rum. Yeah. A success, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I made her own way to just one. Mm-hmm. She went to the bathroom. She came all naked, man. <laughs> naked. All naked. <laughs> naked. These are the, some of the things we're trying to filter out. No, this this is proper. Hey. This is proper for the podcast, I don't man. Know, I don't know what happened to her. So our friends were rushing to her. Wear your clothes. Yeah. Okay. It's amazing how many people just want to get naked. It's actually a thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really? I saw, even, yeah. I saw something even. All I would advise, <laughs> if you know, you but know. that's 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 insane. I've never I've never even imagined <laughs> it. Oh, happens, that, that I haven't it's seen. Especially with white people. White people are weird. Oh no, yeah, they 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 no, they're crazy. They get crazy. They get crazy. No, they get crazy. They they get crazy. They get crazy. The craziest story. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. story. Yeah. Similar to that. Yeah. So, gypsies, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got Malaysia already, yeah. like. Gypsies, I don't know. It's a lit day. It's probably like a Friday or something. Yeah. And then there's lots of people, right? So you can't really see everybody at one time. Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden, there's a guy, yeah, naked on the dance floor, holding his beer between his butt. Wow. A <laughs> yes, <laughs> just in his butt cheeks. Of course, you have to throw in some patriotism <laughs> there. <laughs> the dancers took this guy out. 
bro. But why? Like yeah. second. Why? This happens. This <laughs> happens when you're the That's stuff that saying. can't work yeah. with your body. Yeah. Actually, you need to understand your body when you're going yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One thing I need to say. People yeah. need to know their limits. Yeah. Mm. Like, don't drink Long Island. Like, don't go yeah. and fail. <laughs> Bra. Yeah. Don't Bra. go and fail. Bra. Especially, no. like, exactly, if you order a Long Island. Yeah. Long Island I know is. what you're here for. Yeah. You yeah. need to just get messed up as fast as possible. <laughs> like, if you somebody walks to me, orders yeah. a long, long Island, I just look at them and I'm like, why? Why? Bro, why, why are you doing this to yourself? Why? why? Four. Yeah. Four. Five different kinds of alcohol. A little yeah. bit of Coke. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. It's a touch of Coke, actually. Literally. Are guys yeah. talking about Coca Cola, though, right? Mm. Yes. Oh, okay. No, no. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. 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 <laughs> hey. Okay. Okay. Going too far. Okay. There, so. Bro. So. Too far there. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my next question, Fizzy and this beverage. this is now like just for people who like just come out and actually want to have a good time. Because, yeah. you know, cocktails can actually ki- like hit you real hard, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely. What are some of the tips that you can give people? Like, let's say you have, you still want to have a good time. You want to yeah. drink your cocktails. Yeah. And you still want to wake up the next day in the morning yeah. and function properly. Well, how would you advise somebody to go? So, to a cocktail, night? a water bottle. Anything, mm-hmm. even if you're having a beer, a water yeah. bottle. Mm-hmm. Like, for me, let me tell you one thing. I've been up there all night. Yeah. I haven't slept. Mm. Like, if you take two beers, take a water. yeah. Me, I don't have an Are you telling us how you work? Yeah. Uh, yeah. As, as you work, you take one beer, one. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Is that what you say? Generally, generally. Uh, well, I make avoid. one cocktail, I drink, I drink one, one, and one, one water yeah. bottle. And when you're having cocktails, I uh, avoid the sugary stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, because sugar gets you more high. Mm. Yeah. Well, I guess. Thoughts? Yeah. Thoughts are, yes, water. I don't know if... Okay, so I do... I don't do his method. I just time it for the, the mic. for the yeah. end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> so what I do at the end of the night, yeah. um, after probably a heavy night, yeah. I'll go probably a liter or two mm. of water, uh-huh. drink it like finish it before yeah. I sleep, yeah. and then food. How do you do that? And you're so you're so drunk. I don't know. It's just and like you actually feel like you're full already, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm like yeah, wet. Yeah, yeah. I think I would go with his method, yeah, method like yeah. just balancing it out during the night. So if I yeah. get home, yeah. I just want to sleep. You can man. have so many drinks with water breaks, actually. Yeah. 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 If yeah. you try that going out, mm-hmm. having like three cocktails or glass of wine, having a bottle of water, mm. you'll be okay at the end of the night, I'm sure. Nice. Yeah. Okay, and then food, though. <coughs> yeah, Critical food, 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 food is always and like food avoids touch. I mean carbohydrates, uh-huh. yeah, because they also you get you high. You want to eat like fatty foods yeah. that will help with uh, fatty, yeah, yeah, yeah. So breaking like cheeses, what? meat, cheese, meat, meat, meat yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, so yeah, like all stuff. Go to pizza and go to chicken and you know, mm. the pizza oh, is chicken, so good in chicken, the man. <laughs> oh, even pizza is good. Yeah, even pizza I mean, is good. The only ones that are open 24 hours. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then, just in your field of work, what do you think so far? Like in Nairobi, what's like the most popular cocktail that people like order a lot? Long Island. What? Mojitos. Really? Yeah. Mojitos. Yeah. What people should understand, they should try other stuff. Yeah. 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 Okay. Like. Okay. So for you, the same. You've noticed, like Long Island. Long Islands, mojitos. mojitos. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? Most what? popular. Like that you can get in most bars. I think no, no, no. That people really, d- when they come to the bar, they're like, "Can you make me this?" Yeah. Long Island. Long Island. Long Island. Like yeah. people really want to be yeah. shit faced. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Literally. <laughs> That's the like I just, oh, I've had a long day. Just give me a Long Island. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay, then what are some of the alternatives that you know you'd actually like recommend for somebody to just have, and it will give you like you know like a super high, mm. not like really fucked up like uh, yeah. Long Island, yeah. but it'll still give you like a nice buzz. And what 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 other cocktails do you think you can recommend people to try out? Because um, you know if people don't know, yeah, like people yeah, no, do definitely. know Long Island and yeah, yeah. mojitos, True. but what other cocktails do you think people need to try out well i think between us i like brown liquor more than you right yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. so let me talk about brown liquor people so okay. that's your rums your whiskeys and yeah. so on so yeah go for a whiskey sour mm-hmm. it's such a like underappreciated drink mm-hmm. that is actually really really good old-fashioned style narrated also as well yeah. Yeah, yeah but i mean an old-fashioned is much more for like a somebody who knows what they're after yeah who's there to appreciate did the we whiskey make those like at k1 no, that, no, no, no. That's the towers. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, like me after the first cocktail, I was already. <laughs> I was gone. Somewhere. I was no, but gone. we did Dawa Mojito and Ponsta Martini. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I think try try some whiskey cocktails. Mm-hmm. Maybe if you're going to go for rum, don't do the Mojito. Do a daiquiri. Do a. Mm. Do something that's. I don't know. 
and stick to your brand if you're having rum <coughs> stick to for rum for the or don't tequila. switch yeah? up don't, don't to go rum tequila <laughs> Well, if you think you can, try. Let's <laughs> yeah, yeah. see why we told you not to. <laughs> uh-huh. But I think yeah. safely you can say if you're drinking white white liquor, if you're drinking your gin, your vodka, stick to that line. Yeah. But if you're on like whiskeys and browns, stick mm. to that. Just I maintain that. Yeah. Don't don't over yeah. exaggerate like mm-hmm. anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So the the Nairobi like just night scene is. Wait. First yeah. of all, what do you normally order when you go for a, co- uh, to a cocktail? Buy? A cocktail. Yeah. Long Island. Okay. <laughs> hey. hey, so I'm part of that. <laughs> <So statistic. laughs> yes, yeah. You are them. Huh? I am <laughs> them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you see, see, what you I was see. saying is, yeah. the thing is, people don't know. Actually, yeah, yeah, people yeah, don't yeah, know, yeah, yeah. and it's crazy because even like now with Melissa, you know, who yeah. jo- just joined your team. Yeah, yeah. actually, she yeah. taught me like a lot about just even like wine, yeah. Yeah. which I didn't know. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I've been in situations where like you know back in the days all i knew was for cousins mm-hmm. uh what was the other one fourth street fourth street frontera frontera you yeah. see because those are the always readily yeah. available yeah. ones yeah. but i also didn't even know they were just made for mass production yeah, yeah. but since i discovered like the wine shop i knew yeah. like there's so many other alternatives yeah, to to wine almost costing even like the same price but really really good quality exactly. but if yeah. you don't know you really don't know, you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So at least now you're giving people like more recommendations. More options, yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, then just look at the cocktail menu of most yeah. places and yeah. uh-huh. see what you, what flavors you think you like. Like if you like, if you're like a huge fan of mango, like yourself. Oh yeah. If you see a cocktail like we, we used to do this drink called the mango and chili mojito. I think I've like had that. Proper, yeah, yeah. Proper, proper, yeah, yeah. proper drink. Mm-hmm. So I mean, experiment. Don't mm. be so confined to mm-hmm. what you're comfortable with. Explore no. a little bit. Yeah. Try out the menu. So like, if. If somebody is launching a new cocktail menu or something, yeah. we're not just going to go and order one and then stick ordering that. Mm-hmm. Like we're going to try each drink yeah. and see how we like it. Then from there, we'll pick a favorite or something. Nice. But yeah. Okay, now let's talk social media. Okay. Because, so, I mean, the two of you have really pushed the envelope when it comes to that. How, Im- how important is social media to like just both of you in what you do like career-wise? Has it made a difference? Yeah. It's a Does it stress you out? Because apparently there are people, not apparently, actually people are going through depression because, you know, they keep comparing themselves. Maybe yeah. there's a bartender you're following and, you know, you've done like, let's say, five or six flights. This guy's always like on a private jet every day. Yeah. And he's just yeah, doing yeah, like yeah. some of the craziest things. And then you start comparing instead of like just doing your own thing. Doing your own thing. But how's social media working out for both of you? I think because... Okay, so we each have individual social medias. Yeah. But we also have now a unified bar sage social media. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think <coughs> knowing that it is for the company yeah. and it's for the brand, yeah, it kind of reduces that pressure. Because if it's just you running it by yourself, because yeah. I mean, social media is handled by our manager. Yeah. yeah. So it does a great yeah. job. Yeah. Tony, 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 shout out. Tony. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere Tony. there on the background, <laughs> hiding. Yeah. 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 So I mean, uh-huh. it, it reduces a bit of that pressure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But and it's also it, it makes it more fun because yeah. it's something that you think about you're like oh what would be nice would this look good mm. let's think about like we, we plan out like ideas of what are we going to be posting mm-hmm. what kind of themes are we going to mm-hmm. be using mm-hmm. yeah. what's our color scheme yeah. what's our adverts going to be like so it's more of a fun interaction rather than oh what is so and so doing what is so and so doing yeah. Yeah. it's more about just us us yeah and as a team for self, yeah. 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 yeah okay and then before you started working yeah like were you before you like you just got into like the bartending like yeah. uh, and mixology like yeah. proper yeah why you guys active in social media you're just like mm, eh. yeah. Yeah. yeah not that yeah. much just like that yeah. much yeah, yeah, not yeah. That much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay interesting but i think it also comes with the with the with the lifestyle yeah because our lifestyle is um it's very much about people yeah and interactions yeah, yeah. so once you start interacting with people on that level they're like oh where can we keep in touch mm-hmm. so on so it's just social media and so on so or a phone number or whatsapp or mm-hmm. so for now but does it open like numbers. just your network game when you're oh, out yeah, there definitely. at the bar yeah, like yeah. you know because yeah. you know you can always throw in that handle make sure you follow us on like exactly. instagram yeah, yeah. and it's somebody pops out their phone it's perfect to have something before to you know it they are calling you for yeah. something yeah and especially like people call us nowadays like oh what have you guys done what is, what is this yep. what is that and yeah just go just check out our instagram we just we send your instagram yeah, yeah. is actually a portfolio now yeah yeah because yeah, exactly. you have like the event section and all those things yeah. and all your instagram is 
really really well well clean yeah well, thank you really super thank clean <laughs> Tony. that w- awesome. that was really impressive yeah, and that's yeah. why like i reached on that day i was telling tony yeah. like please like just make this work for mm. you know both these guys i really need to sit down with them and chop it up with them yeah so uh speaking of which let's talk about this contraption that's here on the table Ooh. i've been told which that you guys are experimenting Oh, is, I'm, I'm, I'm only saying like one thing, yeah, yeah. So this is uh, Melesi's favorite drum. Yeah. So uh-huh. I've been club three years. Yep. Uh, so I knew three anos, is age three years. Yeah. And um, we decided that we're yeah. going to try and spice it up a little bit. Okay. So we've taken some uh, some roasted oranges, some cinnamon, some nutmeg, mm-hmm. uh, just some bitter influences. <laughs> you know, and <laughs> follow, follow yeah, Melesi, this, this just like... This thing follow. Uh, we're on month, I think four or five. I, w- I always want to open this Wait, thing. Wait, three? Like what month? Four months or so. Four. So yeah. what are you trying to, to we do wanted with it? We wanted to infuse for a year. Uh-huh. Then to we're going to crack it open and see what happens. But me, I don't want to go for any. I'm like, let's open it right now. You see, <laughs> uh, I, just, <laughs> I just hope you both have like really nice medical cover. <laughs> so I can say. No, but this is a thing people do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, think a, I was inspired to do this actually by a friend of mine called Graham. Yeah. And what, he, what he's been doing. Yeah. He's been taking like vodkas and so on, and he's been mm-hmm. putting like chili, mm-hmm. chili, <laughs> berries, <laughs> so on. Um, yeah. And like he has a he has a chili vodka that I tried the other day that he's been having for seven years, mm. and I tasted it the other day and it was incredible. Mm-hmm. Seven years. Seven years he's aged. Yeah, I can't wait vodka for seven years. Putting my <laughs> vodka there for seven years. Seven <laughs> years, man. Yeah, because it's like the your kids will come and yeah, destroy yeah, and yeah. play with it, and just after like three <laughs> or four years, <laughs> kids though, kids, which yeah. kids? <laughs> Oh, no, I'm just saying. We'll get to th- we'll get to that segment. Trust me. Uh, we're we're going we're going there. We're going there. We're going there. Don't mess it since with that. since you've mentioned it, <laughs> since you've mentioned it, we're going there. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, um, I just also want to know, like, do you have like your own signature cocktails? Yeah. Because I've seen like Lots. these crazy bartenders like that I follow. Uh, I don't know whether you know the tipsy bartender. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I've been following him for years and yeah. he always has like some signature yeah, yeah, cocktails yeah, that he's always coming up with and stuff. Do you have like your own? So for us, unless it's specially requested that you want classic cocktails, yeah, every menu we provide will be our own. Yeah. Oh wow. So you come up with like just yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. And we're really trying to push like local ingredients, local spirits, local okay, mm-hmm. local spirits kind of, but like <laughs> local, <laughs> local ingredients. Yeah, it's like, hey, okay then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind no, of. Cuz you know there's yeah, there's hey, some of our spirits here. Are spirits I know, but I hear there's one spirit that's always like in a lot of cocktails. Mm. Kenyan Yes, it's KC? not champagne. It's Kenya KC, King. Yeah. I, s- actually, I hear KC. Yeah. Why? Why? What's the big deal with KC, and how comes it blends in so well with all these other cocktails? I hear like you know. So if you know your cocktails, Nambone doesn't blend in well. Yeah, it doesn't. No. Oh really? Because people say it's a rum. It's not a rum. It's mm-hmm. a smooth cane spirit. Yeah. Mm. So mm-hmm. it's it's almost a rum, but it's not a rum. It's not a rum. Even so how? Why is it always being put like in it's cocktails? Cheap. It's cheap and it's strong. Ah, Which come on. Margins. That's why. The yeah. margins. There's nothing cocktails? special. Yeah. Let me tell you, the margins on cocktails are the best in any bar. Yeah. You make the most money on cocktails. But actually, uh, something uh, something amazing, uh, when I was flying back to the States, yeah. I took a bottle of Kenyan cane to the bartenders there. Yeah. They loved it. What? They really? were like, yeah, they loved it. Like, this is one of the best things. Do, do you have the address? <laughs> yeah, the address. We <laughs> must find them. <laughs> they start shipping. Yeah. <laughs> shipping Kenyan yeah, cane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they were lying to me. Maybe they like, No, 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 but most they likely. They were like, what was that? <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be amazed with some of the things that maybe us, we take for granted. Yeah. Somebody else is coming in like yeah, yo yeah. this has a tropical something that's mm. different yeah. we like it the flavors and then like all of our our just like even if it's sugar cane and stuff it's all it's not yeah. been modif- genetically modified no, so no, i no, guess yeah, any yeah. everything it's tastes it's different yeah, 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 yeah i yeah, guess yeah, yeah. even fruits when you're making them yeah. on the cocktails yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. interesting i'll tell you i had an experience like that with uh, in uganda yeah with uganda waraji yeah so it's a gin mm-hmm. and it's very similar to kenya cane yeah so i remember I, I just took a sip. I put it in Why my mouth. You? I was like, oh, this yeah. is all right. Yeah. It's not too bad. Then I swallowed. <laughs> and I realized why it's Uganda is the way it is. <laughs> what I was you? like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <We're> like, <laughs> the kick, the kick, the kick is. Oh, it's wild. Uh, uh-huh. It's very interesting. So, nice. Yeah, nice. I, I understand it. Mm-hmm. But I just think, I think you're, the better your ingredients, yeah. the better the finished result. Okay. End result. We play with yeah. everything. Like me, I made a cocktail with Mira. Okay, that's new. Yeah, it was called. Yeah. But the I'm sure in Meru, like, like the you'd be like, you'd be like, yo, you'll make a lot of money. <laughs> make a lot yeah, of yeah, money. We even want to try with like hemp and so on. Yeah, yeah. 
are there any uh, like just crazy ingredients that you know you've actually tried on you know your clients before and they were like yo this is actually something that you should introduce to a regular bar mm, crazy no um what's the craziest flowers flowers uh, i did something with anchovies the other the anchovies anchovies mm. yeah what's that uh they like fish you know you know have you ever ordered a pizza that has like little fish in yeah. it and they're so salty Salty, I wouldn't. Okay. I wouldn't. <laughs> That's why I haven't. <laughs> Anchovies are like very salty little yeah, fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but also, w- w- uh, we're trying to... So one thing we've realized is that mm-hmm. people are becoming a lot more aware of like health and so on. Yep. So yeah. So what we're, what we're trying to do now is change a bit and show people that there's vegan options in cocktails. There's yeah. healthy mm. options. There's yeah. not so much yeah. sugar. There's even like savory options for cocktails actually let's talk about that because like even my podcast is about health wealth yeah Yeah. love and happiness yes yeah so yeah i mean it's always possible you can drink healthy yeah Mm. you can have cocktails that are like healthy healthy. sugar free sugar Sugar free free, yeah vegan um just yeah i think how to be interesting it's something that it will come with a good wave of things and yeah. i mean let's hope drunks will be you know yeah. accommodative to that they'll be like ini nini yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, is, yeah. what is this I mean, as with everything yeah, yeah. in moderation i yeah. think if you want to mm-hmm. keep up and be healthy and happy yeah you just need to be moderate with everything okay yeah. then let's talk about like just um because like I said, it's all about health, wealth, love, and happiness. Yeah. How about sustainability? Are you comfortably like just taking care of your bills yeah. and stuff with just something that you love? Yeah. So, something mm-hmm. interesting. Um, yeah. To the microphone? Something the interesting. Microphone. Yeah. Last year, we, yeah. we officially started in around December yeah. last year. Yeah. And we've now been properly active maybe for the past three, four months. Wow. Yeah. But mm-hmm. in that time, yeah. so I, I was... Um, Consulting, I was a hospitality consultant for a time, mm-hmm. um, and then I had other job opportunities. Yeah, but as this last month has gone, yeah, I've realized that if I just put a bit more effort into this, yep, there's no need for me to start anywhere else. Yeah, because it is sustainable, and it is reaping fruits that we didn't think we'd see this soon. Yeah, yeah. This guy was actually planning on leaving your group. Is that what he's saying? No, 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 no not no, leaving. No. Okay. But it would have after. It would have been <laughs> less. Malaysia is like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been less. <laughs> less presence from me. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I mean, yeah. Once we saw the numbers and we saw how things were working, we were like, Started oh, actually, making sense. Yeah, like this is a thing that we can. You actually guys that are, are at a very nice space, and mm-hmm. I think your lane is very special. Thank you. And I think that's just like something that's going to be super huge. Like if that's like you've said actively for three four months yeah months mm-hmm. i mean trust me i think by the end of the year you guys would be like just doing something yeah, yeah. in a whole other different Europe ball so game so yeah, so yeah. So and also Europe we so. changed our mind frame from this just being a an on the side thing yeah and now we're treating it like a startup company yeah, yeah. It's a startup that company, is yeah. yeah yeah like one of the tech companies how they treat that how they'd work with it mm. the marketing the angles and if you're looking for yeah, investors i know exactly. some i know some drug dealers and ah nice okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hook nice. it up bro yeah hook it up yeah. in fact okay. i'll make some calls i'll make some calls i'll make some calls nice yeah okay and then um just as we summarize just the podcast mm. hey guys are you in a relationship are you in a relationship well oh wow I could Clear, say, clearly you don't take us seriously let's go to no. you why? Why? I, I've just seen like you know, <laughs> and that's just a way so the, the pause was just too long. I, I just, yeah. I just have special people in my life, ah. special someone in my life. Ah. Hey, no, no, no. Yeah. Let's stick to people. Let's say people. Yeah, okay, it's people. Yeah. Yeah. Say, How about you? <laughs> <laughs> get you in trouble, wow. man. Yeah. Get you in trouble. Yeah. 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 It's okay. <laughs> How so about you? Me. Nah, she has bro. this woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she who? She. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. Hey. Yeah. Um, Cause I know, like, even like with stuff. with just your line of work, like you, if it like if it's dating, like you're always meeting it's new faces every single day, all the time, when, all the time. and you're seeing something special, maybe in all so many different yeah. people. Wow. And you know what? What wow. is interesting? Yeah. Wow. Is you? Tr- I, okay, so I tried maybe a few yeah. years back. Yeah. And it just got to a point where I couldn't. I said, "Plane, hold on." <laughs> I couldn't. Um, yeah. There was no trust anymore. Yeah. Not because I had done anything, you've just because you've of seen the things that I live mm. and all they the people it. that I meet and all that. Yeah. And you know your it's hours, tricky. like I mean, because you can't, you can't do a relationship mostly with busy hours, yeah. all weekends. Yeah. Yeah. You're taking like pictures on friend. Instagram. You're like, yeah, and no, you no, said no, you, can't, you don't have time. time for me, you know, and yeah, yeah. Just but, time yeah. And you don't have 
getting yeah, time for the them time is, is crazy. Because I mean, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you're busy, you're packed. You're yeah. Monday, you're sleeping. Though, and then Monday, maybe they're working or something else. They have their True. own thing going on. So it's, it's, a, it's a tough balance to get right. Mm-hmm. But I think once you get it right, it's it kind of tricky, great. right? Yeah. It's, but it is, it is tricky. It is hectic. And yeah. I yeah. understand. We understand. Yeah, Nairobi has the most beautiful. It has movie. amazing. Oh yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. I can only imagine, wow. like even right. for you guys, like right. just working, working behind the like, like, like yo, okay. <laughs> the always <laughs> like new faces <laughs> every day. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know, it's just interesting, and even just with what comes with your work of life and the discipline that it also requires. Yeah. yeah. Because as much as you're seeing all these people, like you really also have to understand, we need to make numbers. Yeah. We need to focus like on this person and move on to the next client. Yeah. So you have to keep it like you know, professional. Like maybe you can slide in the Instagram handle. Like yeah, talk to me later. Yeah. yeah. Talk to me later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then also another thing, you know, on discipline on that point. Yeah. I think a big issue in our industry is um, is like addictive behavior. Mm-hmm. So there's mm-hmm. a lot of people that you'll hear about who are proper full-blown alcoholics. Yeah. Oh yeah. Drug addicts. Yeah. I mean, there's it's just yeah because of the life. Yeah. And because you're exposed to these things every day, yeah. and you're exposed to people who are doing this every day. Yeah. Uh, and and it it's gets just to so you. readily available. It gets to you. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, like you could be working in the bar at the end of the night, you just have a couple of drinks, then you go and you get another drink before you get home. Yeah. So I mean, it's just it a becomes small, normal. It becomes you don't even realize, and yeah. then it's yeah. Before you know it, like you really need it to function normally. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So right. we're well. I am very careful. I, I'm sure he is. Also. He's, he he goes less than me. Yeah. 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 So I'm <laughs> yeah. very careful to always monitor that. Yeah. At least after maybe one two weeks of going very hard, mm-hmm. just make sure that you can take the break, because yeah. once you can't take the break. Then something's wrong. There's yeah. something wrong. Once yeah. you once you wake up and you're like, before anything, mm-hmm. I want a drink. That's, that's like it's it's a problem. Okay, nice. Yeah. Now, yeah. just one final question before, like you know, we just wrap up the podcast and you know, yeah, I throw a, a nice challenge at you guys. Okay. Just before I go to like my last question, you know, mm-hmm. there's just something that you mentioned like off camera, and that's um, just mental health. Yeah. And depression, mm-hmm. and you know, a lot of people like even in the nightlife yeah. like we say mostly, mostly yeah, mostly yeah people might just be coming to order for a drink but you can see in their face like yo it's an escape yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, an yeah. escape yeah, they're yeah, trying to yeah. escape yeah. from so something so let's yeah, touch on that a bit something that doesn't have enough i think awareness as of yet yeah yeah what you'd find from people who are working in the industry to people who are not and people who are just enjoying the nightlife yeah you'd find that many people are just not coping well yeah with yeah. whatever's going on in their life yeah and i can speak more for people who are in the industry yeah so again back to the people who are on night shifts and so on so yeah. if your work life is six days a week every night every night every night i mean first of all you live in darkness you deal with alcohol you deal with alcohol every yeah. day yeah rarely do you have people to talk to outside your work circle yeah. and so it lets you get into a bad place because I mean personally I've been in bad places before yeah we have been especially because yeah, yeah, yeah. um, I used to live alone yeah and that was I don't think the brightest idea on my side really because what I found is that where I what, what I'm doing now I'm living with housemates sharing a house and it's a good support structure to have to be able to just talk to people mm-hmm. so I would say don't seclude yourself yeah um, get people who will be able to notice when something's not on point mm. yep. mm. and yeah just don't keep it to yourself yeah it's okay not to be okay there's so many cases you hear of friends that you used to work with people you used to work with who have passed on who have taken their own lives yeah i mean so many yeah, cases because they're not able to cope and they have nobody to and talk to, to, to or talk just to. share about yeah. something yeah. just yeah. really small it's very simple yeah yeah and it all starts with like the addiction and all of the things that we're exposed to yeah and I just think this life is crazy. Maintain yourself. Mm. Um, everything in moderation and yeah. have find your people. Yeah. Your people that are your safe places. Find your people that are comfortable with you and you're comfortable with them. Mm. Share with them. Talk right. about it because if there's all this stigma around it, it'll never be spoken to. So especially the guys out there who are hustling out here working in the industry. Yeah. Um, don't be so tough. Mm. Let it out once in a while. Mm. Yeah. What right. I say is, men don't cry often. But yeah. Find time to cry. Yep. Because just you, h- just you hide when you're crying. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Once you start crying, cry yeah. for everything in your life. Oh once, yeah, yeah, true, true. And then you're good for like yeah, a while. So yeah. I think, yeah, definitely. And it's very like yeah. also if you think about it, like in the nightlife, yeah. there's so many superficial conversations that people have at night. 
so you don't get it's to easy. actually like just talk to somebody and know how they're doing because yep. yep. it's always like oh how are you doing yeah this yeah, and this yeah, it's yeah. always yeah. about the hypes yeah, yeah. Always a good, yeah, yeah. Good but you never really like get to know like yo are you yeah. good with yeah, your yeah, girlfriend exactly. are things okay at exactly. home how's work? The, yeah how's yeah, yeah. How's how are you really doing like health wise and all those exactly. little things that we take for granted you, you miss all those conversations mm-hmm. yeah. in nightlife so I mean, it's also really important to understand where yeah. you are. And something I'd say as well, like for me, yeah. Um, before I got into working like this, yeah. I was very introverted. Mm. I've never been. I was never an extroverted person. Yeah. So what I found is that, let's say I have two events on two days or three events during the week. Yeah. After that, I'm gonna need like a day or two, just to rebuild that social energy. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll like burn out, and I'll just be like, no. Bounce, mm-hmm. I don't want to talk I'm to not you. doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, you need to yeah take time. Don't over push yourself, mm. and make sure you know yourself and you know how you work and what works and what doesn't, so that it's. It. it but I Kev, you know that you said something. You should find someone to talk to. Yeah. You know there are people that don't actually don't have no one to talk to. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Where can they go? Mm. Come talk to me, bro. <laughs> or, or come to the Kiss Capades yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, people yeah, are talking. Yeah, yeah. People yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the whole reason why yeah. I started the podcast because yeah. there are so many different, especially like in the arts, yeah. there are so many different people with so many different situations yeah. and they really just want to talk and share their experience. Yep. Mm. But you see, like, probably like on TV, that's not what they want. Yeah, TV, exactly. they just want maybe the drama that they're going to give them, like, most likes mm-hmm. and everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they miss out on the real conversations. Like, you know, how's bartending? You see, like, we mm. can talk about all the fun stuff, yeah. but we, c- we shouldn't leave out, like, you know. The bad stuff. We're yeah. also dealing with, and that's why, like, even when it comes to alcohol and it's being advertised, they say excessive consumption of alcohol yeah. it can be yeah, yeah. It, could be, it can be like and physical <laughs> and like if, yeah it can be physical <laughs> the wallet though, the physical wallet. And mental your wallet yeah. yeah it can go so many other ways yeah but you also have to be just aware yeah, yeah. and also people you keep around you also very very very, very important very important very yeah. important people you keep around you actually mm-hmm. they can make you grow or fall down yeah. true yeah, easily yeah, yeah. Have true. people who drive you who motivate you yeah, yeah. who want to grow with you yeah yeah, yeah. otherwise no. yeah you're going to be in trouble Nice. Yeah. So I'll just ask you guys, like, just, you know, one final question before, you know, we just wrap it up. Yeah. And the question I normally, like, just ask all my guests, mm. what's the one thing right now that you think you're in pursuit of? And if you got it right now, it would give your life, like, a different sort of meaning, direction, happiness, you know? Maybe it's Whoa. kids starting a family. Maybe it's, like, you know... Uh, sport, <laughs> sport, pesa, oh, jackpot. That's um, <laughs> white. <laughs> yeah, but you know, that's one question that I ask yeah, everybody because yeah. you, you can take a minute before you answer it. No. You wanna go first? I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> you can, like, no. <laughs> yeah. What's one thing? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh huh. Wow. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's a. You know, I told wow. you we'll get to a serious place yeah. where you, know, you have to think about it, you know. Uh, Has everybody, everybody ever just said they're satisfied with the way things are moving? Yeah. You no, know, some some say that. Some say they just go with the wind and they just want to see where it leads them. Leads, yeah. But, you know, some, they're always, either it's money, mm. and they're clear, like, that's what I want. Yeah. And maybe somebody else is like, you know, just a future, starting off a family. just mm. depends, you know. I think knowing that the route I'm on leads to stability mm. that would be something i want i would love i'd love to be able to know what happens assurance, yeah. like an assurance. yeah, yeah mm. i'd love to know that it's gonna be okay nice you it's know? gonna be okay it's gonna be yeah? okay yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 i'd love yeah. to know that it's, uh-huh. mm-hmm. it's an interesting ride and i've enjoyed it mm-hmm. yeah one thing I, I really don't want to happen is that um i get to maybe 60 70 even 80 let's yeah. push it a little bit yeah see and then I, I and then i have all these things that i wish i had done yep yeah so i mean one thing my mom says is that never say you should have yep yeah so i think yep. i think yeah making sure that i live life experience everything that i possibly can mm. make meaningful connections just take it all in because you know i feel like what was what was there before you were born what can you remember? Yeah. Nothingness, right? Nothing, yeah. So how I see it is, there was nothingness, there will be nothingness again. Mm. So you have these 60, 70, 80, 100 years 
to make the most out of this crazy experience that we've been given. True. So that's True. just one thing I want to make sure that I keep doing and keep doing better and yeah. feel everything. I, s- I saw Gary V post something like I think two days ago and yeah. in his videos like, you know, go to any like hospital yeah. and ask a 90 year old yeah. about, you know, life. Life. No, no, they tell you, I wish. Exactly. They always start with, I, I wish. wish. I, had, I, wish I, I wish I did this. Yeah. I wish I did this. Yeah. I wish I did this. So yeah, I mean, I get, I get what you're saying. Yeah. So Malaysi, mine, I would say is uh, actually about just helping others. Yeah. That's that's what satisfies me. Okay. Like I believe service to humanity, service yeah. to God, service straight to God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I wanna, I just wanna help people. I wanna help people who, who can't get a proper meal, mm. people who doesn't have shelter. Mm. Yeah, mm. that's my thing. Mm. That's like my long, long time goal. Like, mm. I want, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna leave back something that I've helped people. A legacy. Yeah, yeah a legacy. Yeah. 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 And mm. a legacy that I've actually helped people. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Because I wanna do. Yeah. even from what you've said, you know, there was this uh, Nipsey Hustle snippet, you yeah, know, yeah, uh, yeah. rest in peace, of course, to Nipsey. Yeah. And there's this video where he says, like, you know, a lot of people always, like, just every day when they wake up, they're like, what, what can I get from life? What can I get from yeah. life? What can I get? What can I get? But, you know, he was talking about how you can also yeah. look at what it in a I different do? way, like, what are you going to leave behind? How will and people remember you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Cause if you know, if you give and educate, yeah. involve other people, you will forever like just remain like a legacy. Yeah. People will always keep talking about you. See all these people like just Bob Marley, yeah. um, Tupac, um, Mahatma Gandhi. It goes with all extremes from like religion to yeah. hip hop yeah. to boxing, Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Those people who came with a purpose and just left behind a whole different like just. Yeah meaning to what yeah. life is yeah 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 okay so um we've come to the end of the podcast and you know i can't really just say how much i'm thankful to you guys just showing up i no, appreciate that a lot you, really thank i appreciate yeah. thank you. <laughs> i appreciate you guys yeah, yeah. Are making like like just proper moves and thank anyone on the digital space that i always see doing something i'm always like let's just talk on the podcast yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and people get to get like just a idea. sense of what you guys are yeah from yeah. apart from just seeing you maybe on social yeah. and they don't get to know about your personalities <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. that's why the podcast is, is here yeah. so and you know you're doing good you're doing good when you're in this podcast actually yeah appreciate yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, made it you know you know yeah. you know you know <laughs> yeah. you know it's and a nice thank spot. everybody in my life <laughs> <laughs> It's like a, a Grammy really? Award. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's yeah, for a selected few, no, but it also, also comes with just personality and people. Yeah. Yeah. Like meeting both of you guys, like I've never had like bad experiences. This yeah. guy, every time I meet him, he's always hyping yeah, me up here. And yeah, 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 he's always like proper. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he is always yeah, like yeah. A game Definitely. on that energy. Yeah, you, yeah. of course, after I met you, good vibes, good yeah, energy. Good vibes, and that's what I want. I need to surround myself. That's what keeps me going, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So, where can people find you? And before you say where can people find you, mm. what else do you have going on? If you want to plug anything that you have going on, okay, please do. Um, or forever hold your peace. Sour, sour, sour. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, Power Box every Sunday. Yep. Craft cocktails, different spirit each month. This month is uh, July, so we're on yeah. whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll change. Keep going yeah. on. Um, Masterclass, uh, cocktail masterclass is at K1. K1. Yeah, K1 cocktails, you can follow them on Instagram. Yeah, please check them out on Instagram. Big yeah. Samantha. Um, yeah, Samantha, <laughs> well done. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else are we doing? We're working with Martel. Yeah, we're on Wednesday Martel, yeah. at mm-hmm. Milan. So yeah. pop by mm-hmm. or check it out. Check out Martel. Very good yeah. cognac. Yeah. Better than NSC. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, High five for that, man. You are still yeah, Hennessy's yeah, yeah. like, yo, Cloud. we'd like Honest to work yeah, with yeah. you guys, but. Yeah. But. Yeah. So yeah, these things on the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> why I whisper. <laughs> don't care about it, man. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, what else? Um, mm-hmm. Check out our Instagram. Yeah. The Bar Sage. Yeah. Um, see what we're up to. We post our events. We post what's going on. Yeah. Um, yeah, give us a follow and. Yes, keep up with us, I guess. And okay, where, where, where can people find you guys now individually? Because that's like the passage. And what else do you have going on, like individually? 
Uh, as for me, you can find me at Hunter's Bar, Alchemist. Yeah. yeah. It's a pop-up bar. You can eat. Uh, Mulberry is coming there. You do know about Mulberry? Yeah. 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 So Mulberry are coming to to my the bar that I'm working with. Yeah. Yeah. Come for the best cocktails I think in Nairobi. Mm-hmm. We have the best cocktail in Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I would say. Oh yeah. wow! Wow! Yeah. Oh, wow! <laughs> no, they do that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody good <Wow>. cocktails. <laughs> wow! Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 You yeah. guys and tapas, I think, are way up there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And then also you find them on at Malaysia Mixes. Yeah, at Malaysia Mixes. Yeah. yeah. Um, Malaysia Mixes. Yeah. Malaysia Mixes. I'll yeah. put the handles down ah, below. Just at Kevin yeah. Ad. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but go Barsage first. Yeah. You'll find the rest of us there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, Anything yeah. else? No. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Cheers. So I guess um, that's it, guys. Yeah. Yo, Malaysia, ciao, ciao. bro. Thank you. Bro. <laughs> I appreciate. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate, awesome guys. Stuff, yeah, yeah, so I mean, it's the Kiss Capades podcast. You know. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, we're on YouTube. What are you up to? Yeah, what are what are Get you doing? Together. What are you doing with your life? <laughs> <laughs> we're on iTunes, Spotify, Castbox. Uh, make sure you subscribe for all the updates, and you know, make sure you follow them. I'll put the handles down below. It's the Kiss Capades podcast. Thanks for listening. And thanks for watching. Just Goodbye. Give a kiss at the end. Yeah, you can. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Guys, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.